Hello, everybody. Here we go. Hi, I'm Harris Bright of Two Electrical Guys. We're here today to show you how to test receptacles using a tester. What kind of tester is that called? This is called a wiggy type tester. And so this first receptacle has a GFCI on it. If I plug my tester in, now notice it's not going in too easily. And that's because it is a tamper-proof receptacle. This is the new type of receptacle where you can't put one probe in without putting the second one in at the same time. So this is a tamper-proof receptacle. You're going to find that on all the new installations today. So putting this in together, because it's a little hard. There we go. It's showing that it's 120 volts. If I go from the small slot, which is this live wire, to a ground, I trip the GFCI. Now the small side, is that is that something called polarized? Yes, this is a polarized receptacle, and the small slot typically is always the live wire. And the big slot is typically the neutral wire. And so that's how you can identify what is supposed to be correctly wired. These new type of receptacles will not reset to start with if it isn't wired properly. Well, let's go ahead and see what uh, what's number two got for okay, it. Number two, let's plug it in. First into the, looks like it's looked good in there. Uh, if I go to ground, whoop, I tripped the receptacle. So one GFI can control many. Yes, it can control up to up to 10 at times. Is it eight or 10? 10. Why, why 10? It, it's based on the power usage of each receptacle. Each each circuit is rated at a different amount of amperage, and based on 180 watts per receptacle, you could put 1,800 watts on one circuit. Now, if we multiply 120 times 1,800, and I don't have the number. <laughs> it's just math. We'll move on. Yeah. Anyhow, this receptacle happens to be wired properly. I go to number three. I'm going to plug in number three, and number three showing 120 volts, and I'm going to go to ground. I'm not reading anything. I'll go to the screw. Now, this screw, the reason you can go to screw on a receptacle is because the screw is attached to the yoke of the receptacle, and the yoke of the receptacle is a grounded screw. So now if I go to the ground, nothing. But if I go from the ground wire to the screw... I'm showing that I have continuity so that the ground wire and the screw are continuity, you know, it's it's complete. Do I get the same thing if I go off the neutral? If you go off the neutral? Nope. Nothing. Because they're separated? That's right. Oh. So uh, the neutral and the yoke of the receptacle are insulated from each other. And that's why you can't get a reading between the two. But the screw and the ground is definitely uh, connected together. And this is the way a receptacle is supposed to be wired, where the neutral is independent of the ground. Well, Harris, thanks a lot. This is our four-minute version of testing electrical outlets. We'll see you later. Thanks.